Elon Musk startup that is hoping to give new life to quadriplegic patients. It's now received the go ahead from the FDA for a second patient. Now the company implanted a chip in someone back in January. This person was paralyzed. It allowed them to communicate with friends and family for the first time in so many years. And this is so cool. I mean, it's technology, it's health, and now it's FDA approved. I'll tell you what, this is a game changer. This is medicine changing. This is, it, it is remarkable. And I can't, I can't wait to see what else we do for people who are quadriplegic. So the company plans to implant two more patients in the next coming months. Uh, they do have some major improvements they've got to make. So this go around, they plan to implant the ultra thin wires deeper into the patient's brain so it doesn't come loose like it did for the first patient. And really, despite these minor glitches, the results, they have been, astounding. I'm going to get to that. But Elon Musk's brain implant company started looking for its first volunteer to try out their new technology. So during this procedure, what they do is a robot inserts a chip the size of a quarter into the patient's brain. The device then collects the data from the brain and then translates the patient's thoughts into commands that a computer can understand. But hey, this project has not been without its controversy. So Neuralink started testing the device on monkeys. It then led to several of the primates dying, it then sparked protests across the country like this one you see on your screen in Austin, Texas. Whenever you put something in, in a human, it takes a long time to prove the safety. Mm -hmm. But I, I think maybe in a couple, in like maybe a year or two, yeah. it can be approved for general use. Okay, so this is a new update as well. The patient's name has now been revealed. He is just 29 years old. His name is Nolan Arbo. He's paralyzed from the shoulders down, so he hasn't been able to text, drive a car, do so many things. And this implant has allowed him to move a mouse pointer on the screen just by thinking. Since his transplant, he's been able to communicate with family, friends, loved ones, even play games on the computer. So tonight here on News Nation, Chris Cuomo will be interviewing Nolan Arbo. It airs at 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern. And Neuralink, it has been evaluated at $5 billion most recently. Musk hopes in the future that this device will be able to treat people with other conditions like obesity, autism, and schizophrenia. And I think in the future, the real question is, are we going to be able to implement this so people who are quadriplegic, they can drive again? Well, and, and have other mobilities. But I think, obviously, with the controversy as to how you develop the technology using animals and yeah. whether or not people are feeling this is way too close to AI and humans merging, that's going to come up in conversation. I'll tell you what. I have a friend who's quadriplegic. He just so happened to go snowboarding, had a mishap, and he's not able to use it. it it's changed his entire life. Yeah. And that is so many people. And this is a game changer. I'm excited about it. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.